Hi, in this video we'll go over how to enroll the patient in the patient portal. Upon logging into the system, click on the patient that you would like to enroll. In order to enroll the patient, notice that their email and their phone number, mobile phone number, has to be included. From here, simply click on the patient portal enroll button and the message will confirm that you would like to enroll. Once you click yes, then a few things will actually happen. After some processing time, the patient will get two emails. The first one will be the email verification link. This needs to be clicked on and verified within 24 hours, otherwise we will need to resend it. So we'll go ahead and verify the email. The registration has been confirmed. Great, now we can click out of it. And the second email is the temporary login details. Now notice that if the patient doesn't, doesn't get either or both emails, have them check their spam folder. Also notice that Gmail might have these two sections here, such as social and promotions, and the email can easily show up here as well. So there we go, this is our patient portal enrollment email. Here's a few hints for the patient. Username is their email and it's case sensitive so it must be all lowercase. The, pass the password is also case sensitive and it is a mix of numbers, letters, and characters. We will also send the temporary login details to your office administrator email, just in case they have difficulty. Now, once they are enrolled, you will actually see the telehealth tab appear on the right of their signature tab. So we'll update this. And there we go. We see telehealth. That's how we know that the patient is enrolled. Now we'll go ahead and we will log out from our therapist email and log into the patient portal using our credentials given. Once again, our username is our email. So we'll copy that. And we will use our temporary password as is. There we go. Once the patient successfully logs in for the first time, it will ask them to change their password. So our old password is the password that was given us given to us in the email. So we'll go ahead and change it to our old password. Now it will ask us to re-log in since we just changed our password. So one more time, our username is our email. And we will use the new password that we just reset. So here we are brought to the patient portal screen. This is how you successfully enroll the patient into the portal. In the next video, we'll go over the patient portal functionality and how to operate the telehealth. Thank you.